what happens when you skip your third position. So essentially your third position is a smaller version of the fifth position. So my heel is where my insole is, my this little arch, okay? And a fifth is my heel has to go meet my big toe. When we teach children, we teach, we introduce a third position way before we teach the, the fifth. And actually, if you'd like to know a little teaching secret, the more the kids grow up and progress, you essentially, you close that third position, make it more and more tight until you get to that fifth position. That's the best way to do it. And essentially, that's the only reason why we need third position in ballet as an introduction of that fifth position. Now, what happens in adult classes very often that gets skipped so much. Very often, when you skip that third position, you end up having something like a parallel fifth position. So if you're just studying ballet, or if you find it hard to keep your rotation, your turn out, the best thing you can do is to work from third. Because the more tight your legs are, the harder it it is to keep the rotator muscles working because to keep that turn out, they have a harder time to keep your legs rotated. So what ends up happening, because you really want the heel to find that fifth position, you end up with something like this. And this is not really a ballet position. And listen, I'm all for working within your own range. Uh, you know, even if your turn out is really, really small, it's not wrong. You can work within your own range and make sure that you're working at full capacity and do cross training to improve it and increase it and all of that that's all perfect but it's better to have a nice turned out third position than a parallel fifth okay that's the main reason why and when that that step gets skipped and it takes longer to improve that fifth position follow for more